Hi guys! Today I'm going to be doing a review on Beauty Queens by Lipa Bray and let me just start by saying that yes, I got a haircut. I always seem to do something different and weird with my hair whenever I make a video and uh, I'm not sure if I like the full-on bangs but gotta get used also, to it. Also, I'm wearing this dark makeup because I have a makeup channel and I just filmed a tutorial so hey if you're interested in seeing how I did this look go to my channel I'm kidding. Do you want to be um, advertising on my channel or stuff um, but anyway let's just start with the review so I was like super looking forward to this book because I thought it would be so different and interesting to everything I have ever read in the past I know this is very shallow but I loved the cover like isn't it cool to have this girl in a bikini and the lipsticks and the sash? I just thought it was super awesome. So I was really tempted by the cover. I started reading this book and it took me a very long time to get into the plot. Mainly because of the tone that she used. It's very humorous and ironic. This book is a satire of the beauty world and pageants and the media and... Um, I did expect that, but I didn't expect her to take it to such an extreme level. And that's one of the reasons I guess I didn't really like this book because I felt that although she is a great writer, she does a great job on mocking those things, I felt that she just took it to an extreme level and it kind of made the plot a little bit stupid. So the plot is about these girls that get stranded in this secluded island. I know a lot of people because I was when I was reading the reviews so many people commented about this like um Lord of the Flies much but um you can see some similarities but it's not like Lord of the Flies because it'd just be stupid to do a copy of the book but these girls get stranded on the island and the plot is like if you're looking for a believable storyline don't read this because I guess to make her point about the beauty queens and the beauty world and the stereotypes of, all, of it all she makes it a very non-compelling and kind of a very idiotic um scenario one positive thing that i have to say is that throughout the middle of the book when she's talking about the characters um the beauty queens and their backgrounds i was quite into it because she's great on creating um, background stories and crafting characters. Yes. You, you, you find out that the girls are not the shallow, um, vain girls. But just as I'm starting to like the book, these random ass pirates come out of nowhere and I'm just like, no, why did you do that? Why did you do that? And then the story just went downhill. The ending is probably one of the worst endings in the literary world. I'm probably, I'm, it, I'm obviously exaggerating, but it's it's really bad. Like, um, I pushed myself to finish reading this book because I like to finish every book I start reading. And in my mind, I just kept thinking, okay, maybe the end will be breathtaking and it will all be worth it. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Sorry, that's my phone. Um, it was just odd and just random. The whole book is very random. Do you understand that, that it is a satire? And um, she's making fun of all those things. But I don't know. Just did not float my boat. I gave it two stars. Only because I did like how um, she made the, the... How she told the characters' stories. And... Um, I'm not saying anything bad about the author, and uh, if you like this book, good for you. I mean, that's one of the amazing things in the world. Everyone has different opinions, and that's why the world goes round. I'm not saying that Libba Bray is a bad author or bashing her. She's a great author, and I respect her work, but I regret reading this book, and I gave it two stars, and I would not recommend to my friends. If you have read this book, let me know what you thought about it, because maybe you have totally different opinions than me, and it'd be... Nice to have a polite debate. Two things, actually. About a month ago, or a little less than a month ago, I read The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, and it's by... Let me look at my bookshelf. 
Michelle something. I have really bad eyesight, so I can't really see read her last name. But it's quite a popular book around the book community and、um, Goodreads and all that. So if you are interested in me doing a review of the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, let me know because I have read it a few weeks ago, so it's not as fresh. In my mind, as this is, but if a lot of people are interested in it, then I'll definitely do a review. I'll be putting my Tumblr, Goodreads, blog, my other channel, every kind of information you might want down below. So if you want to know anything, check、okay. it out. Have a fabulous day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.